Welcome to my channel. I'm Hannah of Modistra Sews. Today I'm going to show you how to do a full bust adjustment doing the pivot and slide method. Now there's many ways to do full bust adjustments. This happens to be my favorite and hopefully it helps you too. But we need to remember why we have to do a full bust adjustment in the first place. Many pattern companies draft their patterns in a B cup size. Well, not all of us are B cups. Some of us are larger or smaller. And sometimes we need to make adjustments so that our garment fits us properly. You may have done this in the past. You cut out your garment according to your bust size and then you find that the shoulders are way too big. We're gonna fix that problem today. We're gonna to cut out the right size for our shoulders and then we're gonna adjust the pattern down to fit our bust. I'll be using the Elodie Wrap Dress from Closet Core Patterns. And the fabric I'm using today is a Rayon Chalet from Fabric Mart Fabrics. They're a great source for quality fabrics. But I am using a white rayon chalet and I plan on tie dyeing it, ice dyeing it specifically. And so that's gonna be another video. So make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss that video. But now let's get started with our full bust adjustment. To start our full bust adjustment, we have to take some measurements because we need to find out what our cup size is. And for that, we're gonna measure our high bust and our full bust. To measure the high bust, simply take the tape measure, make sure it's flat across your back, bring it up under your armpits and across the higher portion of your chest. You want this fairly tight and you're gonna mark that measurement. The next one, we're gonna move the tape measure down, make sure it's parallel to the ground. And we're gonna measure across our fullest part of our bust. You don't want this one too tight, maybe put a finger underneath and you're gonna mark that measurement. Now, because we're doing a pivot and slide full bust adjustment, we may also want to measure our waist because we might be making adjustments there too. In order to measure your waist, you're gonna take the tape measure and we're gonna place it at our natural waist, which is where our crease is if we bend over. That's our natural waist. It's kind of high compared to where we might wear our pants. So we're gonna take that measurement and again, you don't want this to be too, too tight. Maybe put a finger under, and then we're gonna mark that down on a piece of paper as well. Now let's figure out what our cup size is. We're gonna need some items to do our full bust adjustment with the pivot and slide. We're gonna need a couple, two different colored markers. You want your measuring tape, maybe a pencil, definitely want pins, and then you'll need some kind of paper to trace your pattern onto. And of course, you're gonna need your pattern pieces. So gather all those together and let's let me show you how to do the pivot and slide method. To determine our cup size, we've got to find the difference between these two numbers, our high bust measurement and our bust measurement. Now I know that there's a four inch different difference between these two numbers. So that means I'm definitely going to need to do a full bust adjustment. And we know that because closet core patterns drafts their patterns in a B cup. So we will have to increase the bust area in order to fit the garment properly. And if you can see here, there's um, inch differences determine your cup size. So if there's an, a one inch difference, you're an A cup and would have to do a small bust adjustment. Two inches is a B cup, three is a C, and it goes on. So I know that four inch difference is a C cup, a D cup. And just keep in mind, the cup sizing on a garment is not the same as your bra cup size. So that is totally different and you measure differently to find out your bra cup size. So make sure you do your high bust and your bust and then you find the difference between these numbers and then you'll find out what your cup size is and if you need to do a full bust adjustment. Also, for the pivot and slide method, I don't recommend going above four inches in difference. If you are larger than that, I would suggest doing a different um, full bust adjustment method. So you might wanna do a slash and spread type of method for that. So for, for this one, we're doing the pivot and slide because I am four inch difference, which is it within a proper degree to do the pivot and slide method. Now we need to determine what size we're going to cut. Now. Closet Core has the, the full bust and high bust measurements here. So we are gonna take our high bust measurement, which minus 36, I'm gonna find it on the high bust line. And that puts me in a size 12. But you can see here, my bust measurement is 40, but on the full bust size 12, it's a 38. 
that's okay. We're going to make that adjustment. And then for the waist, my waist is 31, so that's fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out a size 12, and that's going to be the size I'm going to do. And then I'm just going to adjust for the bust at for this number. If your pattern doesn't have the high bust measurement, which sometimes it doesn't, I would simply go to the full bust measurement and find where the 36 is. And then you determine, do you want to do the 10 or the 12? I know I can fall between these two in um, closet core patterns. So I would just figure out which one I wanted, wanted to do and go from there. If you're not sure, just size up one size. So you could do the 12. But that is something you need to keep in mind because not every pattern has the high bust measurement included. But today, I'm cutting out a size 12 and I will adjust this area for the bust so that it fits better for me. So let's figure out how to do that. So we have to figure out how much we want to add to each cut side of our pattern pieces. We have two pieces, the front and the back. Now my bust is 40 inches, but the pattern size that I cut out is only for 38 inches. So we have to figure out how what's the difference, which is two inches. That's the difference between these two measurements. And then my waist, the difference is one inch. So what we do is we simply divide two by four because we have four cut sides. That's gonna give us a measurement of a half an inch. And then if you divide one by four, you're gonna get a quarter inch. So at the bust area, I'm gonna add a half an inch. And then at the waist area, I'm gonna only add a quarter inch. I'm gonna show you how to pivot and slide this to get that measurement. First, we're gonna start by simply tracing our pattern on this one side. We'll trace it all the way down. We need to mark our seam allowance. On this specific pattern, I like to do it from where my shoulder would be and I'm gonna like eyeball it so it's right around here. So we're gonna find our seam allowance up here. And I'm gonna mark it right around there. And then we're also gonna have to pivot under the arm here. And so I just measure out and I had already marked it. So mark it again. So we're gonna pivot here and here. We also have to mark how much we want to pivot out. And remember, we're going to do at half an inch here at this pivot mark, and then a quarter inch down here. So let's see, at the waist. So we'll pivot at these two lines. So we're gonna take our pin, we're gonna place it here in this seam allowance area, and then we're gonna we're going to pivot the pattern out to that half inch mark. And then we will retrace a new line. And it should join right up at that top mark there. And we'll trace down to here. Now we have to pivot to the waist point. So we're gonna leave this where it is, place our pin at this point, and then pivot back to our quarter inch mark, and then continue retracing that line. And if we move this back in place, we can see the red line is now our new line where we're gonna cut. So we might need to fold this little piece out of the way, but this will be our new cutting line. And we'll add that one to our pattern piece. So this will be the extra we're adding in to do our full bust adjustment. If you feel that you need to lengthen it to give you more volume going down, you simply will slide the pattern down and add whatever you need at the bottom and trace a new line for the bottom. So sometimes I will trace out the entire pattern piece and recut it, so I keep this one totally intact, but you don't have to do that. You can simply just tape the edges and have the pattern attached to this one, or you can trace out the whole pattern 
and have a new pattern piece, just make sure that you transfer all your markings that you need. And if you don't need to slide it down, you, you just simply don't. You just leave it where it was at and you'll cut out this edge here to give you the, the width that you now need. For the back piece, we do the same exact thing. I traced around, I marked my seam allowances here and here. I have a pin and I have a, another color and we're going to place our pin, pivot, trace our new line down to here, take our pin, pivot back to the waist measurement that we have to do, and retrace our line. And then we'll cut out our pattern piece. So I've already cut out my pattern pieces, so I wanted to keep this intact. So I have my front, transferred all my notches and my darts or pleats, and I traced out my back. So now let me show you real briefly how to do the waist adjustment on the skirt. It's super easy, and then we'll be completed doing our full bust adjustment, and I'll show you the final um, finished product. So you can see here my skirt piece. The skirt is humongous, so I can't show it on the full screen, but we have my, one of the skirt pieces. You're gonna do the, this to the front and the back, and then you have your waistband. So in order to adjust these to fit the waist of your bodice, we're going to have to slide it. And you'll basically be sliding it this way, but because this skirt piece is so big, I'm just gonna show you on the waistbands. You can see here I already I already did it. I already added the amount that I need. But if we just tuck these back and act like they're not there, you're just basically doing the same thing you did before. You're laying out your pattern piece and you're gonna mark it the amount that you need on each side. It was a quarter of an inch, so you can mark it there. Oh, and mark it right there. And then you would just simply Instead of pivoting, you would just slide it over to what you need and mark the new line. And then here I have it marked. You would slide this over a quarter inch to what you need and have the new line. So you would just simply trace this out and then your pattern piece would be wider. So it will accommodate your waist and your bodice. It will, everything will match up. And you're just gonna do that again with the skirt. You would just simply slide the skirt over. So here you can see I already added what I needed to my side seam. So you would just simply trace around like you did before, but you would mark out what you need and you would just slide it over and make your new mark for your pattern piece. And then you would just add it in like I did here. So I added it in all the way down. So now let's look at the final finished product of the dress. Here's a result of my full bust adjustment. I love using the pivot and slide method because it's so easy. I have enough room in my bust area, there's no real drag lines, and there's no gaping in my neckline, which is what the full bust adjustment is helping accomplish. So thanks for joining me. I hope you like this tutorial. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel for new content. And stick around because I will be ice dyeing this dress next and I'm going to show you how to do it too. So thanks for watching.